Another question from Patricia. Um, uh, I've, so actually, she's had a double mastectomy at the at the VA, and I'm waiting to have the reconstruction. I'm interested in using my own tissue instead of an implant. Is that possible? So hard hard to tell without um, an examination, but for most patients, it's possible. Um, you know, I would say the most popular place by and far uh, to do a natural tissue reconstruction is um, is the abdomen. It's the lower abdomen, um, and it's usually a deep flap. Um, the second most common place to take tissue from for reconstruction is the inside of the thighs, but there's a multitude of other locations, the outside of the thighs, um, the saddlebag area, the lower back, um, and so you know, usually there's an option for a patient who, you know, really feels like that's the best way for, for her to go. The only way to know what the best option is, is unfortunately an examination. Uh, actually related, similar question that we also got here. Um, I had the radiation in two previous breast, can uh, in two pre previous breast cancer treatments. Now I have tish tissue expanders after double mastectomy. I plan to get implants, but can I still consider natural tissue reconstruction? Absolutely. Yeah, so um, there are many times where someone um, will start with the tissue expander and then decide, you know what, I'm, I'm not comfortable. I don't want to continue this. I'd rather um, change course and move forward with the natural tissue reconstruction. And you most certainly can do that. The tissue expander comes out in the same exact fashion. And instead of replacing with an implant, you replace it with your own tissue. And in some cases, for example, for patients where we know they're gonna have radiation afterwards, um, there is a technique called the delayed immediate reconstruction. Um, the, uh, the team at MD Anderson um, popularized it and, and wrote about it, introduced it. And essentially you start at the time of the mastectomy, the immediate part of the reconstruction is placement of a tissue expander. You then undergo all of your treatments, chemotherapy and radiation therapy. The tissue expander is radiated. And then after you heal from radiation therapy, you go on to have the tissue expander removed. 